Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav. If you're new here, uh, we're doing Legacy again. We're just going to keep on going. I'm really on a roll with this, guys. We are making real good progress. I have been enjoying filming it so much, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying watching it. it means the world to me. I definitely got a case of the Mondays today. I'm so tired and so <laughs> unmotivated, uh, but... I really wanted to film. So here we are. I'm sure this will cheer me up a little bit. It always does. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I, I did. I spent a lot of time with family. I got to see my friends. It just felt, it just felt like a good weekend, you know, very fulfilling. And I hope that you guys had that too. So it is New Year's Eve in The Sims. So uh, that's what we're gonna be celebrating tonight. And then who knows what else we'll get up to. Uh, and I did make some changes to the lot. So I'll show you guys that right now. Um, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are back in the compost household. So a couple of you guys mentioned in the comments that you think it would be a good idea to switch the position of the guest house and the barns so that's what I did just so like all the animals can be in the same area uh, I think that was a pretty good idea I moved the rocket over here and I had to make the guest house a little teeny tiny bit smaller I might actually like bring it in a little bit more <laughs> just so it's not as close to Ren's house but yeah that those are the little changes that I made um, I also could not figure out what was wrong with my build and buy but I was able to uh, use it today, thank goodness. But it is the last day of winter, so the snow should melt soon. I can't wait to see what this lot looks like in the summer. Um, it's just gonna be really beautiful with all of our animals and stuff. So once the snow melts, I definitely wanna get some animals. Um, all right, so yeah, like I said, it's New Year's Eve today, so we can go celebrate that. I don't really know what I wanna do though. It's also the garden fair. There's a garden competition. I don't know if it's um just oversized crops or just regular. It kind of looks like oversized, huh? But you can purchase unique items. Um, we might make a pie and go, who knows? And then we have, let's see, Festival of Youth. I don't think we need to go any, to any more festivals for Sarah's Aspiration though. And then Egg Day and then, uh, yeah, that's basically all we've got going on. We have a couple of weeks until Edison and Sarah's birthday. Pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, in the last one, we went ahead and started on her aspiration. We did the first branch of it. And then the last thing we need to do for the second branch is go sledding three times, which should be really, really easy. One of you guys also commented that we should work on Ren's like snowboarding or skiing skill as well whenever we go to Mount Kamarebi, because those are some of the skills that she hasn't maxed yet. I think that's a beer brilliant idea. <laughs> and then Edison, yes, um, he's just chilling. He's living his best life. He seems like, he seems happy. Um, he is in a relationship right now with Eloise. They had a very, very cutesy uh, Christmas together. They woohooed for the first time. They cuddled um, as they fell asleep. Honestly, it was super wholesome, especially in the Christmas cabin. Um, but we did go on a date with Crystal as well. So he's still like, he's still, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> exploring I guess even though he is with Eloise I think he's like still keeping his options open maybe he doesn't want to like move too fast or I honestly don't really know but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens because honestly she doesn't really hit us up unless we hit her up so I want someone that like actually tries I don't know if it's just the the sims being sims but it's kind of annoying like I don't want to be the only one making moves around here <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> what is, are you making coffee? No, you're not. Um, oh, right, skills. Um, so she, cooking in romance level seven and horseback riding level six. So we should be able to be, to max all of those. She's off to sleep. Yeah, she's she's so tired. Why don't you like sleep for real actually? And then with Ren, I was trying to do the gemology aspiration. The last thing that we need to do is cut a gemstone worth $2,500. And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know if we need 
a crystal that is, oh, is that loud? Hold on a second. I don't know if we need a crystal that is like really rare or really expensive or what, but, but yeah. Oh, Grim is still here. Nice. We got Grim, we got a new ranch hand again. <laughs> a lot of you guys were shipping Ren and Grim in the comments. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I got my heart set on Caleb. It just like makes the most sense to me. So I think like doing a gnome is probably the best thing to do. I don't know, how do you, I'm gonna look it up cause I don't wanna like sit here and try and guess. Okay, good old Google. I have one sim who completed this aspiration. If I remember correctly, her skill level was 10. When I had her cut a gnome, I can't remember what gemstone I, was, I used. Okay, perfect. <laughs> the jet cut gnome? Huh, we already have a jet cut gnome though. I guess I can try again. This one's only worth 1600. Oh no, who was it this time? I could not believe how many deaths there were in the last episode. I don't know who that is. Okay, it's a rando. <laughs> Well, we'll see if, cause I don't know, maybe like depending on her mood or whatever, they're worth more. I honestly don't know. <sighs> All right, so Edison is chatting with Evangeline right now. He just prepared himself some chili. That actually sounds really good. Not him in the ranch and just chatting it up in the kitchen. I love this game. Woo, yeah, New Year's Eve. Let's go. <laughs> what should we do for New Year's Eve? Evangelina spread some juicy gossip about Ophelia. <gasps> what? What achievement is that? Oh my god, Edison is attracted to him. Have a sim befriend the Grim Reaper. Okay. Um, he likes homebody sims. Why do all my sims like homebody sims? <laughs> Whoa. Should we go to Edison's bar? We did that last year for New Year's too. I would say let's go and party, but I kind of feel bad for Sarah. I don't know if that is triggering for her or if she just doesn't enjoy doing that kind of stuff anymore. I would feel bad like forcing her to go to a packed club, you know? I have liquid IV today. I thought that maybe I was feeling super low because I needed to be hydrated with <laughs> electrolytes. So I have a strawberry one today. It's pretty good. It's not as good as the white peach one, but I keep getting ads on my Instagram for cotton candy liquid IV and I'm a sucker for anything cotton candy. So I really want it. Okay. Yeah, it's worth the same amount of money. I don't understand. Let me look, look up some of the sources. Plumbite, market trait. Hmm. The marketable trait, let me see. She has 8,000 reward points. That's crazy. Um, yeah, the marketable aspiration reward, everything that the sim creates is worth more. Sell items they've crafted for more simoleons. Okay, yeah, let's get that for her. And then, whoa, hold on a second. Why are, Edison has learned more about Ren and is now unattracted to her. <laughs> oh, well, good, because you literally don't need to be attracted to her. Like it does not, that doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get her to harvest these um, crystals. Perhaps we can get a plum bite from there so I don't have to take it from downstairs in Legacy House. Does anyone else have a plum bite perhaps? Oh, we have two simi capsules that we can open. Buddy, Mayor Whiskers. Yeah, let me look at the that as well. Um, the, do, 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 do. Simmies, oh, there's 12. Oh my God. We still need to finish the tassel collection too. There's just so much to do, so little time, you know? Okay, so we got, oh my God, we got a plum bite, you guys. What are the chances? <laughs> She desperately needs some vampire energy, so I think I'm gonna get her to meditate instead of sleep. It takes too long. So dark meditation regenerates their vampire energy as well as sleeping in a coffin. Pretty dope, huh? It's so much faster too. All right, now let's go cut this gemstone, Ren. I really need you to get this done. Uh, donation to charity? Sure, Wilson, why not? All right, Ren, let's go. We could have a New Year's party here at home. That could be fun. Dude, our gardener doesn't do sh Clearly, look at our poor plants. Oh my goodness. Jesus, take the whale. 
We need to get the greenhouse fumigated or something. <laughs> so uh, I was supposed to return to streaming last week. Um, that was my plan, but it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. So this week, um, I just need to figure out which day is best. I'll definitely keep you guys updated in the Discord though. Come on, Ren, you got this. No, it didn't work. 1600 what the heck i don't understand Ugh, i wonder if it's just gonna take a while what's this chatty nothing loosens up those social skills like a little booze when did you have a little booze <laughs> ay, ay, ay. okay ren tend the garden please so since sarah is like basically well rested uh i think we should go to tomarang tonight and go to the night market and see if they've got any new tassels. I love this mirror so much. It's like fogged up with a little heart. It's so adorable. I love CC with like detail like that. Oh, and she's wearing the shirt that she got from the night market. Well, a perfect opportunity to go. Am I right or am I right? La la la, la la la. We should go back to the tiger sanctuary as well. Oh shoot, it's New Year's Eve as well. Damn it. What do we do? What should we do? What should we do? It's already 9.30. Nice shoes. I think we should just get some champagne and do something at home. I was not, I did not prepare for this. Okay, let's see. I think I already have that one. Light green, pink. I don't think I have that though. Okay, another tassel. Done. Okay, we gotta go home. We gotta shishubi. <laughs> that was such a short trip. It's so unrealistic, but whatever. You win some, you lose some. All right, so let me see. How about, how about we cook something kind of yummy and then I'll buy the little champagne bucket and then we'll just invite a couple people over. It'll be pretty low key i suppose black and white cookies kind of give me uh new year's vibes like a black and white party you know <laughs> um okay so i think that the champagne bucket came with wedding stories right where you can like make toast and stuff yes this one and then what's this gravy fountain yeah okay I really want Sarah to have a beautiful wedding. I'm gonna get her to invite Tris over. I don't know if it's too late. Oh my God, we already have to shishubi. Are you kidding me right now? This did not work out the way I wanted it to, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll have a toast after. Okay, go watch. Oh my God, she missed it. We all miss it. Oh, what a disaster. Okay, whatever, it's fine. It's all good. Aw, well, at least they're all hugging for New Year's. Okay, let's continue the cookies. Where is everyone else? Happy New Year! <laughs> Usually my Sims would drink like those pink cocktails on New Year's Eve. Where's Evangelina? There she is. She looks so sad again. Oh, there's the pink drink. There you go. <laughs> Evaton, indeed. Oh, everyone needs to make a resolution as well. Mm, raise a skill. Easy. And Sarah, make a resolution. Hmm. Complete aspiration. And then Ren, mm, get promoted. She's a workaholic. <laughs> Where are those cookies? I swear on my soul. Where the heck? Oh, they're there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right. Everyone made a resolution. We had a couple toes. Not bad. Call to meal. Everyone come get a cookie. It's New Year's. I love these cookies. I don't know about you guys, but they are one of my favorite desserts. Oh, hey girl. Nice of you to join us. Oh, I guess she's leaving. Dude, what the heck? I don't understand you. They're both leaving. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. It's 3.50. You, you can get going if you want. <laughs> Run emergency romance hotline on computer. What? She has to do that for work. Emergency hotline. Honestly, the day after New Year's is perfect. <laughs> it's the perfect time to do that. All right, her romance skills going up too. This is perfect. Where's Ren? Oh my God, she went to work on off hours. I guess I'm not surprised. What are you doing? 
Clean up manure. Thank you so much. There's so much of it. When's the snow gonna melt? I want animals. <laughs> Offer seductive dance to Zochil. Huh? Lots of Sims 1 music. Oh my god, help. So I vote that we go sledding today. Um, I'm pretty sure Mount Kamarabi has snow 100% of the time. Uh, oh my gosh, it's spring! Yes! When is, is the snow gonna melt? No, it's still freezing outside. Oh no, what happened? Something's not right? Sarah has a horrible feeling that something isn't quite right with one of her guardians. What? What's not right? He looks fine. Desire for excitement. Edison is feeling bored and wants more out of life. Things are just blah right now. I thought Hims was happy. Oh my god, he's gonna go make a drink. My guy, stop drinking. You're, you're sobering up right now. <sighs> I feel bad for him, guys. Why don't you uh, go explore, explore space? Nothing beats a midlife crisis like going on a ride in a rocket to space and seeing aliens. Am I right, guys? Am I right, chat? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's travel to Mount Kamarebi. Uh, let's bring everyone this time. Why not? Poor Edison. I feel so bad for him. He just needs some excitement. Isn't snowboarding one of like the cures for a midlife crisis in this game? Girl, you're gonna freeze your tatas off. Just saying. Okay, where are the slopes at? Sarah's gonna sled. I'm gonna get Ren and Edison to snowboard. I'll do Edison skiing. Why not? So she needs to go three to Edison got some loner skis from the lodge for now, but they're a little janky and don't fit that well. <gasps> You're right. I need to buy them snow snowboards and stuff. Let's go, girl. <laughs> it's not as cute without a little kid on the front. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ren in her hat. Oh, she, she, I missed it. Let's see it again. Cross stitch, girl, no, I told you to freaking sn snowboard. That's pretty dope. She can just teleport to the top of the mountain. Marnie. All of Stella's kids are dying, dude. Let's go, Ren. Oh. I mean, she's a natural, am I right? Why don't I see her skill going up? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, she's got work in an hour. Gosh darn it. Come on, Edison. Let's do it. <laughs> he looks like such a weenie. I can't. I don't think I've ever maxed these skills before to the point where they can do tricks and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you do it? She did it. She skied or sledded three times. All right, Ren went to work. Edison's still skiing. And Sarah, all right. So the next thing we have to do for her aspiration is socialize at the bathhouse. We're at the bathhouse, right? Friendly introduction, I guess. Just some random person, why not? Hello. <laughs> Literally the easiest thing that you could do. Holy crap. Oh, she finds him very attractive. Oh, I think they're married. <laughs> and how many, how, why are you guys hugging so much in the bathroom? Like, take it somewhere else. Make a wish on or collect it for spirit? How do you do that? Travel to the Senbamachi or Yumi Matsu or Yuki Matsu neighborhoods. Go mountain climbing or visit hiking trails using the hiking map object in the world. To explore the mountain, try to locate forest spirits when they appear, then interact with them. That sounds so hard. Listen to music, view art, read, shape a bonsai tree, relax in a hot spring, go on a meditative walk. These are all, these are but a handful of relaxing activities a sim can do to enter a state of being emotionally mindful. Really? Uh, Man, I feel like that spirit one is gonna be really hard. Oh my God, life seems to be passing Edison by these days. It's the same thing in, day in and day out with nothing really to show for it. It might be time for a change. I'm trying, I freak, you're freaking skiing right now, my guy, come on. Okay, I found a sign where we can learn about, I just adopted a dog and it's full energy. Full of energy. Do you have any spare time to help me? No, sorry. I don't. I've got way too much going on right now. I'm, I'm literally in Mount Kamarebi right now. <laughs> um, That's new though. I've never gotten a phone call like that before. 
Let's see, these can be explored alone. Simply find a hiking info board and select the destination you wish to hike to. There are many great locations to explore. Stroll through the bamboo forest or hike the Thousand Leaves Temple. See the historic traveler shrine or hike over frozen bridges to the natural cove. Hiking info board. Is that like this thingy? <gasps> it is. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to get a moodlet solver. How's dad doing? Does he want to go on this hike with us? How's your mood? Ooh also pretty bad okay well i'll get you one as well and then they can go on a little hike together let's see um hike to cave statue why isn't dad showing up oh he's already going okay all right they're going wait this is actually adorable I hope this helps us midlife. He's happy! Poor skiing performance. Poor guy. Okay, let me keep an eye out for a forest spirit. Huh. I've never done this. Have you guys ever gone hiking in Mount Kamarebi before? It's really sweet. He's still wearing his ski boots though. Honey, no. <laughs> I guess it's pretty good for walking in the snow. I don't know. I've never been skiing before. Only snowboarding. And man, snowboarding kicked my butt, dude. Oh man, I need to get her a cute hiking outfit. What do the forest spirits look like? Will I know when I see it? <laughs> oh my god, he used a camera and she used her phone. Man, that's funny. I love that they just take random pictures. So cute. Edison has hit the breaking point. He feels like his life hasn't been very successful thus far, and he wishes to change that starting now. On the plus side, Edison will gain a career performance bonus during this period. Check the aspiration panel for Edison's midlife crisis desires. He likes skiing. Okay, yeah. Complete them to desire uh, to decrease the duration of the midlife crisis. Desires are optional and are replaced with a new one when completed. Okay, well, let's see what he's got. Hire professional service? Get to work focused, buy a hot tub, eat a gourmet meal. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't go to work focused because you don't have a job, technically. But it looks like he's skiing again on the intermediate slope this time. Could you go? <gasps> Guys, look, 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 look. <gasps> oh my God, how adorable. What do we have to do with it? Make a wish or collect. Okay, I think we should make a wish and leave them in their natural habitat, right? Okay, here she comes. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh, Sarah, uh, sensing Sarah's earnest wishes, the forest spirit seems pleased. Sarah feels her pocket get heavier and finds a hundred simoleons. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the hundred simoleons. <laughs> okay, take it slow and become emotionally mindful is the last thing that we need for this aspiration. We freaking did it, guys. I had no, I, I never see anybody talk about this stuff, like ever. I never see anyone stream it. Um, it's all just like, it's all so new and it's exciting. Make an offering of good fortune. <gasps> what? What does that do? Ooh, let's give it a sapphire. Oh, I wish you could go in there. Oh my god, that scared me. Edison was pink and naked, and I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, why didn't you go to work today? Uh, oh, because it's egg day. Okay, well, I'm gonna get her to go. Um, the last thing that we need to do for her aspiration is... Uh, we need to get her a bonsai tree. She needs to go in the hot spring, meditative meditative walks, all that good stuff. That's the last thing that we have to do. 
That's so insane. All right, Edison. Well, let's go home. Let's buy you a hot tub <laughs> and cook you a nice gourmet meal to help with this midlife crisis. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for him. I really do. It's like, I want him to have another kid to help with that, but I also don't want him to have another kid because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do that right now, you know? But maybe we should keep going on dates or something. I don't know. I feel bad. I don't know. It's like too much of a coincidence that we like stopped frequently dating and we kind of settled down with someone and now he's having this crisis. Poor guy. I wonder if every sim has a midlife crisis. I think this is the first time in this legacy challenge that that's ever happened, right? <gasps> All the snow melted while we were gone. Yay. Okay, why are you angry? Why me from contemplating life? Okay, guy. All right. Wow, yeah, it looks um it looks so much different with the no snow. Crazy. I need to fix this now too. Perhaps getting some animals will help him feel better about everything as well. Kind of sucks like we had a hot tub. We literally had one and I just recently deleted it. Okay, I'm also going to erase. See what I mean about the terrain paint? It was like this everywhere. Bro, can you work please? Oh my God, whatever. I wonder if this counts as relaxing in a hot spring. Let me see if it does. Should we put it there? Do we have room anywhere else? Put it over there. All right, buy a hot tub. Okay. <laughs> He's still angry. So let's go ahead and cook a gourmet meal of some sort. How about salt and pepper shrimp cocktail? That's what I'm talking about. All the midlife crisis stuff has to do with like getting a job. I don't want to get a job. <laughs> what was the whole point? Hire professional service. I mean, I guess we could fire the ranch hand and then just Hire them again to make it count. Hold on a second. Shrimp cocktail isn't cooked. Oh wait, yeah it is. Just kidding. <laughs> JK y'all, I was thinking of ceviche. We could get a butler. What's up Evangeline? Hey, what's up bro? Wanna see this new Simstagram meme I found? I thought it was pretty funny. LOL, genius. Ha, huh? I knew you'd love that. Well, aren't they adorable? Let's cancel the gardening service. <gasps> Whoa, check that out. A client and their partner need assistance in choosing how to spend their evening during today's session. Okay, we've gotten this one before. Stay home did as well. The client and their partner spent it, yeah, okay, cool. It worked. Black and white cookies with shrimp cocktail. All right, so we're canceling the gardening service and then we're gonna rehire them. Welcome back, Sarah. What can we get from the Humor and Hijinks Festival? Just the voodoo doll? Okay. All right, a rat race. Oh my God, guy, come on. I'm trying my hardest here. Edison has an intense desire to be more successful. On the, on the plus side, he will earn positive career progress slightly faster. Take a look at the midlife crisis section. Yeah, I have been. Okay. You're killing me, Edison. You're killing me. Win a competition or game. Oh, he can do that on the computer. Okay. Yeah, we might as well enter a gaming competition. Enter game tournament, professional. Um, He's always playing Sim Scuffle. So let's do that one. Dude, I swear if he loses this, <laughs> it's just gonna send him further and further down this spiral he's in. What happened? You can't use this? I don't believe you. What's the issue? The desk? Um, okay. What's wrong with the desk? Man, my game is being so wonky right now. Okay. Um, I don't know. This desk just isn't working. Oh, I wonder if it's in the way of him getting to the chair. It might be. Let's see. What if we put it like that? Okay, there we go. Good luck, Edison. You got this. He's feeling energized. All right, what's she doing? Cross-stitching in the graveyard. How sweet. <laughs> 
She's been cross stitching a lot. Okay. Um, who's that? Uh, sure, go for it. She's exhausted, so let's go to sleep. What's Ren doing? Who the heck is this? Oh, she's chatting it up with the paparazzi. Very interesting. Threaten? <gasps> I didn't tell her to do that, guys. She's just. I mean, she's a vampire, so literally, who's that? I wanted to let you know that Masuru and I broke up. I don't care. Why would I care? Who even are you? No, you can't join the vampire club. You're not a vampire. I totally forgot we even had that club. Aw, he's thinking about Sarah while he's in this tournament. He's so sweet. We're not celebrating Egg Day because we don't have any kids. Um, and usually Egg Day is just like looking for eggs and stuff. We already did the egg collection. Hey, Dolly. Let's craft some more nectar, super cell. <gasps> it turns out the other competitors in this tournament were better than Edison. No prize this time. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. Does he have a sad moodlet from that? Oh. And we can't play another one. Loser. Edison is a literal loser. That is so sad. Okay, that's it. Come on, Edison. We're going to your bar. You're gonna challenge someone to foosball or something because you're just like making me really freaking sad right now, dude. We're here. Okay, who do we want to play foosball against? Whoa, who's that guy? He looks really fancy. Anyway, um, challenge Sim. Uh, who's that? You. I don't know who you are, but it's on. She's like, oh, you want to play with me? All right, let me turn off this TV real quick. Wow, the owner of the bar asking me to play foosball with him. Where did the name foosball even come from? I'm so interested now. Let me look it up. Comes from the German word Fussball, which is a combination of the words fuss, foot, and ball. Oh, okay. So you're telling me that this is a German game? It's an Americanized version of the German word Fussball, which means football, which is soccer. Yo. Contemplate life. Dude, I told you to- <sighs> Wilson, it's on. You better win. I, I don't think you can handle another loss, my guy. All of the rest of his midlife crisis desires are have to, have, are work related. So I'm wondering if we if we should get a job. I don't want one. Maybe something chill like a barista. Hello, who's this? Madison Avery. I don't know if this is one of your guys' Sims, but. We totally introduce ourselves. This is the first time him and Wilson have hung out since the whole Teddy debacle. I'm glad to see that he's over it and has squashed it, unless this is like his revenge, trying to beat him in foosball. I don't know. It's like his way of taking out his anger. <laughs> Dude, this game takes forever. Oh my goodness. Who won? Wilson beat Edison five to four. You poor guy. <laughs> I think what we should do now is uh, we should go on a date with Tris tonight. Um, I want to look at one of the new restaurants that I placed. We haven't gone to one since I placed all the new stuff. I don't know. She doesn't really hit us up. And the last time that we saw her, like every time we tried to talk to her, she would just run away. So uh, I just want to see if this is even worth pursuing, you know? We can enter a tournament. Let's do a novice one this time. Sim scuffle again. Sarah, what's wrong with you? Oh, she's sad because of a death. Oh yeah, we need to get her a bonsai tree. Oh, and also relax in the hot springs. Yes, yes. Get in. Does this count? I think I'm gonna put the bonsai tree out here on her balcony. Oh, someone lit this up here. Nice. What? Shaping a bonsai tree helps with your flower arranging skill? I had no idea. <laughs> All right, take it slow and become emotionally mindful. See how she shapes this bonsai tree? Very cutesy, very mindful. <laughs> wow, it's also helping her gardening skill too. It helps both? 
No way. Oh, what do we have to do for work? Research forums and give love advice. Click on another sim and give unsolicited love advice. Okay. Um, wow, that looks interesting. Um, okay, maybe we can do it to Edison. Give unsolicited love advice. I swear I locked that computer for everyone but Sarah. I don't know how that ranch hand was on there right now. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's a bunny. Oh my God, how cute are you? <laughs> I couldn't tell from the other angle. Don't you dare go on my computer. Don't you do it. Whoa, hold up. Edison just had his first experience understanding a positive or resilient romantic outlook. With enough of these kinds of experiences, Sims can develop the romance romantic sage trait. As he already passed his impressionable formative years, this trait will be slightly harder for Edison to, to develop. Doing some work to learn about healthy romance, such as researching on the computer or talking to Sims in healthy relationships, will help increase his understanding in order to develop the traits. <gasps> That is so cool, I want that. Edison just had his first experience understanding a positive romantic outlook. Oh man, that is so sad. That actually is super sad. Our working from home queen. I actually love this for her. She seems to be really enjoying this job. Is it just me? Does anyone else get those vibes? What the? Our grandma's calling. Yeah, I guess we could chat. So we are level eight of romance. Oh my God, we're totally gonna max it. Who's she gonna spread gossip about, I wonder? Edison, who are you talking to? Who's calling Ren as well? No thanks, Tony has spread some juicy gossip about Evangeline. Um, excuse you? You have no right to speak about Evangeline. None. I'm actually so mad about that. Listen to oh. Issues. I love that band. <laughs> um, let's ask Tris on a date. Uh, let's see. Tris, Tris, Tris. There you are. Tris didn't pick up the phone. Some Sims need to sleep. Um, ask to create date. Will that work? Bruh, come on, she's a vampire. She should be awake by now. Is she? Send flirty selfie. Is she ghosting us? Aw. Oh my God, the eyelashes are so broken. Let's see this one. <laughs> I need to replace them on Sarah too. Okay, let's see if she responds. How embarrassing if she doesn't, am I right? Oh, look at her cross stitching again. Too cute. What the heck, Tris? What's going on? Girl, I know you're not sleeping. Where are you going? Oh, she's oh, here. Flint, Flint. Oh my God, not the bro hug. What is happening right now? Go on a date. I should really get going now. No, whoa. Tony passed away. Um. Wow, so the last thing she did was spread some juicy gossip about Evangeline. She was old. She was an elder. Wow, rest in peace. She was kind of a pain in the ass towards the end, but Ren is like, who the hell is this other vampire? Never seen you before. Oh my God, she's a vampire. I guess I just won't order her any food. <laughs> I totally forgot. Just a plasma Jane for me, please. I hope you don't mind watching me eat. That's just what I assumed that they would say. <laughs> this is gonna be like true blood, you know? Like dating a vampire, but it's like really hard for the vampire, especially in intimate situations to not bite you. And so eventually the human is just like, just turn me into a vampire so we can be together forever, you know? Okay, oh wow, yep, she... She definitely went all out with her outfit. <laughs> I love that for her. Okay, this is a really cute restaurant. I'm a fan. Where do we want to sit? Probably down here by the window. That's really cute. I love this. This is really cute. Do you guys have a vampire menu? <laughs> like a vegan menu? <laughs> uh, I crack myself up. <laughs> 
Oh, she put her dress on too. Thank goodness. What? Oh. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Slight discontent from being unsatisfied. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are. I mean, you've been trying to hang out with her and she's just not giving you what you need. Go sit down. Gosh dang it, she's tired. Okay, I'm gonna cheat it. I'm sorry, I just gotta do it sometimes. All right, do they have a Plasma Jane here? I don't see it, but I'm gonna get Sarah Love Potion number nine and then Tris gives me, hmm, I guess just red wine. I feel like that's a very vampire-esque drink. Vampire-esque. Oh, this place has so much stuff. Why does that look experimental? Let's get that. I don't know if we have a picture of that yet. Can I help you? Why is there a rising star talking to us right now? We're on a date. Ask about hobbies. Go away. Yeah, tell her. Oh my God, this person. I can't even believe them. Talk about rude. How do I get him out? Cheats? Makes him leave. Get out of here. Get lost. That's a really nice dress. Oh, I think she just got married, guys. Congratulations, Gwen. Is that what she's doing? Congratulations! I'm happy for you. She's like, who Who are you again? <laughs> I, I don't recognize you. Were you at the wedding? You look like you were dressed for a wedding. <laughs> Oh my gosh, sit your ass down. Sit down. <gasps> Our food. Our food? Thank you. Oh my gosh, she didn't even take a picture of it. <gasps> You're eating popcorn? I'm confused. <gasps> Why are all these people? Oh my God, it's Yusuf. Oh, that's not him. Where'd you get that sack lunch? I am so confused right now. It's really quiet in this restaurant. Ask about recent dates. Oh my god. Ask to turn. What a... <laughs> what a plot twist that would be. Am I right? <laughs> Did she seriously just put her dirty water on our table? Honey, this is not your wedding. This is a restaurant. Emotionally connect. Go away. <gasps> what the heck? It's okay, girl. Oh yeah? Is that where you put dirty dishes? Ask to seductive dance. Hold up. You're gonna ask her to do it? Legendary date. That's what I'm talking about. She doesn't look very confident about it. Oh, she's gonna do it though. In the middle of a restaurant. Let's see it. <gasps> They're both doing it. Oh. 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 Not there being no music, dude. Imagine if you saw this. Oh, there's no one here. Okay, well, I guess that's good. <laughs> Holy crap. This is interesting. Uh -huh. I don't know. I can't tell if she likes us. I really can't. <laughs> Whoa, look at that body roll. This is just awkward more than anything. <laughs> oh no, Agnes is coming. Oh. She hates flirtatious things. If she sees this, she's gonna blow her lid off. Holy crap. I feel like we're intruding. What's wrong? Uh, 
Oh, she just asked us to woohoo and Sarah's freaking out. Whoa, after the seduction, she wants to woohoo it. Tell me I did not call that. She literally saw us through the window, came into the restaurant. Oh my God. We need to bite her for that. MC control, Agnes. No, no, no. Wait, no. Oh my God, how do you bite her? Drink plasma. Compel for a deep drink. Do it, girl, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. She's like, oh, you wanna smack me with your purse? You wanna smack me with your purse? Is that right? <laughs> Holy crap. Not the waitress being, um, you can't do that here. <laughs> That's what she gets, am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> you want to smack people with your purse? You know. Oh. Someone wants to be a star. Anyway, Sarah is not phased because <laughs> she literally lives with a vampire. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Well, um, that was fun. It's 8 a.m. You probably gotta go home, or you're gonna like die in the sun, right? Bye, Agnes. Oh, we got promoted to love language expert. We got a bonus. Um, I think we should work from home again. So what level are we at? Level six, not bad. So if you guys didn't know, through MC Command Center, you can make Sims that aren't in your household do things. Um, it's under MC Control. It's pretty, uh, you just click MC Control, click the Sim that you want them to do something to, and then you just choose the um, interaction from the list. I just learned that recently, actually. It's pretty handy. That reminds me, one of you guys asked me how to, uh, make the pregnancies show up on your notifications. <clears throat> and I said I couldn't remember off the top of my head, but that I would check in one of the next episodes. So let me walk you through it right now. Okay, so you need to go to your computer, so your um, MC Command Center settings on the computer. Oh, I wonder if Edison won his gaming tournament. And then I think it's through, is it MC Pregnancy? Okay, no, it's not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to MCCC settings, which is the first one. You're gonna go down to notification console menu settings. Then you're gonna go to notification settings. You're gonna go to MC Pregnancy notifications. And then you'll do show pregnancy notifications, and then you'll pick who you want to see, whether it be related to the active household, played only, NPC only, or active romance only, or all, all the Sims in your in your world. And then, um, yeah, you can do show relationship changes as well. Pregnancy affair notifications, marriage, birth, all that good stuff. It's under the notification settings on the computer. It's one of my favorite MC Command Center features. Did you win? Oh, I don't even think it registered because we left. Bro, that's so annoying. Let's give Ren love advice this time. I doubt she'll take it, but what you watching? Oh, I'm just watching the cooking channel, but I'm feeling really sad because someone I knew passed away. So I'm gonna go to sleep, bye. Oh, well, I was gonna give you some love advice, but I guess I'll just go do it to my dad again. <laughs> Maybe she keeps doing that to him because she sees how, how sad he is all the time and what he's going through and She's confused about his relationship with, uh, with Eloise. I would be too. Cause they like never hang out. Listen to Romance Station for one hour. 
Okay, let's do it on our record player. Don't tell me someone else died. Okay, no, we're fine. Oh my god, I don't understand. Literally, he has level 10 gaming and he can't win any gaming tournaments. I don't get it. I really don't. Oh, we need level 3 logic skill for this. Very interesting. Is he giving himself a pep talk? He is. Oh, we got a new maid. I think the other maid passed away. Who's this? What's her name? Jai D. Nice to meet you. She's adorable. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some animals since the, the snow melted. I think I'm gonna get one black hen, one black rooster, one brown hen, one brown rooster, a white hen, and a white rooster. Wait, don't we only need one rooster? I think I'm gonna do a black rooster. Um, and then we can get, let's get one hen chick as well. Okay. And then I want to get purchase animal. Ooh. I'm gonna get a spotted cow. And then we'll do a white llama. Okay. And then if we want to get some goats and sheep later on, we can. But I just want to see how well we can handle sign chickens. Yes. Okay, yeah, there they are, they're fine. Oh my God, the horse is so stoked. She just ran over here so fast. Aww. So cute. We also need to name them. Now, I will uh, take into consideration your guys' <laughs> suggestions for names. But I want them to be unique to the ch this challenge so far. I want it to be unique to like my channel. I don't want it to be just anything. So let me know in the comments what you think we should name them. Oh my gosh, I feel like the lot is so much more lively with the animals now. And also I just realized... Moo. <laughs> I just realized that we haven't had a wish at the wishing well for Edison or for Sarah, I don't think. Have we? But anyway, you can wish for happiness, you can wish for romance. Oh, we did for Evangeline, yeah. You can wish for simoleons, which we don't need. Skills, but excuse me, oh my God. <laughs> Youthful vigor, a child, or a promotion. I think if anything, we would make Edison wish for romance and see what happens. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I think the horse is perturbed about the cows. Oh my god, girl. She looks like she is struggling. Calmate! It's okay, Dolly. It's just it's the more animals. You're gonna have to get used to it. You're gonna have to become friends with them. Here, have a grape. I know you love grapes. Oh, ho. Scritchieves. Scritchieves. Okay, she has been loving cross-stitching in the graveyard. <laughs> Ren is missing work. My girl, why? Work chat, oh my God, help me. Go to work, you stoopy. You're a workaholic. You should be like begging to go to work. Whoa. Nice bang. Who is this? Jordan Mata. Do we know you? Hims looks like he has potential. Whoa, Dolly, gosh darn, you need to learn about personal space, girl. How are you doing? Oh my God, not freezing to death. Are you joking me? Whoa. I'm just tired of seeing her in this outfit. It's like, she doesn't wear anything else. Oh, all right, well, it was nice to meet you. I gotta go pee. See ya. <laughs> all right, gang, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I hope that you enjoyed it. You know, I'm feeling really, really bad for Edison. I don't know. You guys should tell me if you think that we should get him a job or not to like fulfill all these desires. Oh, wait. Oh, um, research art. The win a game thing went away. I wonder if he did win the, the game being tournament when we were gone. Start a new freelance job. Oh my God. All of his desires are work related. So let me know if you should, if we should get him a job or if we should just wait for him to get over this crisis. It's, it's gonna last for two days. Um, yeah, 
I guess the more of these that we do, the shorter the duration of the midlife crisis. I don't know. I don't know if we should just wait it out or actually get him a job, but let me know in the comments, definitely. Let me look at the calendar and see what we got going on for next time. Mm, there isn't really anything crazy going on. Yeah, I, I still don't know how I feel. See, they have less romance than they did before the date. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if she likes us that much. After they had a legendary date and their romance is less than it was before, so. I don't know. I don't know if we should keep looking or if we should really like stay loyal and try to make it work with her. Gem, I like that name, Gem. That's cute. And then, uh, Ren, <laughs> we're just gonna keep Keep working on the skills and the aspirations as always. Oh yeah, and then with Sarah's aspiration, the last thing that we need to do is become mindful, which I think is gonna take forever. I think we should go on a meditative walk in the next one and then go on the hot spring right after, see if that works. But the next aspiration that I wanna do for her is, uh, I don't think I wanna do the strange real mystery with her. Beach life. Yes, that'll be fun. Get a suntan, have a kava party, eat a coconut, beach comb, grill barbecue, um, explore the cave, get buried treasure, and doze off while relaxing on the lounge chair. Yeah, I think that would be really fun. All right, guys, as always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!